It's Al the Blogger. You know what time it is. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Al the Blogger here from AlTheBlogger.com. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so I apologize. But first and foremost, before I get started, make sure y'all check out my website, AlTheBlogger.com, for the latest news. And uh, subscribe to my channel, YouTube.com slash The Al Joseph Show. Now, if y'all don't know, um, obviously, this is something new. So Tiffany Haddish, who y'all don't, if y'all don't know who Tiffany Haddish is, She's actually a comedian. She's on the rise. She's um, she's actually new to Hollywood. So she was on a TV show called TV One Uncensored, where she actually was on. Um, she was doing an interview. She told TV One that she um, went to a Jay Z concert. She got invited to an after party from Jay Z himself. Uh, this thing when she got invited to the after party, uh, there was another actress talking to Jay Z. So basically when they were talking the actress who tiffany never named she never put her name you know in public um the actress was talking to jay-z she grabs his chest beyonce comes out of nowhere and she tells the lady to to, to, to back off with the demeanor and if y'all know jay-z beyonce is always with him at least 90 percent of the time so um i was like damn you know when i actually put this on my blog you can check it out on my website i put it on my blog and i was like damn i didn't know beyonce was about that life but you know, their husband and wife, so it was something you can expect. Um, I actually got this from MSN News, so shout out to MSN. Um, it was uh, fascinating. I didn't think that Beyonce, you know, would do something like that. But again, her and Jay-Z, they're married, so it kind of does make sense. Um, but yeah, you can check that out on my website, altheblogger.com. Also, um, I'm going to make these really quick because I ain't got time. I'm about to head home right now. Um, another story I want to cover with y'all. So A-Rap Music, he actually did an interview with Billboard Magazine. <laughs> Talking about Joe Budden and the Drake uh, beef that they had uh, a few years back. I don't know if I remember, but Joe Budden and Drake had a beef a while back. Um, so Billboard, you know, they kind of asked him about his session while uh, he was with Joe. And A-Rap Music was pretty much saying that Joe must have had the the disses planned out centuries ago. Like, we're talking years ago, like back in 2000, 2001 or something, because when he was in the studio with Joe, Joe was just walling out and aggressive and intense with the disses. So he was just saying, like, he was on another level, another planet. And um, A-Rab, if I don't know who A-Rab music is, he's actually been in the industry for, you know, some time now. He actually produced for ASAP Mob, uh, Cameron, Azalea Banks, Avado, the Dipset, the Diplomats, the Dipset, whatever you want to call them, um, Hell Rail, Jada Kiss, Buster Rhymes, 50 Cent, Eminem, and Slaughterhouse, and more. Um, I was surprised because uh, I didn't, Joe's always been known to be an aggressive artist, you know, maybe not to the best lyricist, but he's known to be an aggressive artist. So when he came at Joe, or when he when Joe Buddy came at Drake with, you know, what all those diss songs, I was like, okay. It's cool, but you know, what is gonna get you? What are you getting out of it at the end of the day? You feel me? But um, yeah, A Rod Music just was just saying that you know he probably had it planned out for a long time, and I'm like, eh, it makes sense because he has a lot of good diss songs. So is Drake. Um, so that's something I was willing to cover. The last thing is um, Travis Scott. This is kind of cool. So Travis Scott. If y'all don't know, um, he's actually with Kylie Jenner, their um, mom and dad now. They have a baby called Stormy Webster, I believe. Um, Kylie just gave birth a few weeks ago. Um, now it's all over the news that, you know, since he, since Travis Scott is a dad now, he's going to change his life, I guess. I actually put it in my blog, actually, too, so check that out. So, um, but yeah, I'm actually, I like this. Um, Travis Scott, he's been in the industry for quite some time now. You know, Kylie's been in the industry for a while too, but Kylie's a little more famous than Travis Scott is. Um, but for Travis, it, it gives him a better outlook on life. Because if you think about it, Travis Scott's like, what, 25, 26 years old? He's just getting his, not just getting his feet wet, but he's like one of the biggest rappers in the game right now as we speak. Now he has a, you know, a kid to worry about. So. This is really, really interesting. Um, I'm hoping that they stay together, you know, for the kids' sake at least. If not, then at least he can still be a good dad and not a dead, deadbeat. Um, but more than less, we should expect to see him on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. 
um, coming up this season. I wish that nothing but the best. I hope, you know, the baby comes out beautiful. 